Tonight, loved ones of a North Carolina woman who was killed one year ago while walking on a local beach will remember 45 year old Elizabeth Braley with a vigil at the spot where she was run down. The case against the accused drunk driver who allegedly hit Braley is still winding its way through the courts. West 2's Claire Metz reports the family is patiently waiting for justice. A year later, there is still a memorial for Elizabeth Braley here on the beach at the Dunlawton Avenue Beach Approach. At night, the beach was closed to motorists. The access gates shut. Investigators say that did not stop a drunk driver. We would have celebrate the 25th anniversary, the 15th of this month. Mark Braley could barely hold back his tears, talking about wife Liz, mother to their seven children. So I had to be mom and dad. And we're raising two grandkids also. It's been an impossible year, made possible, he says, only because of his faith. Ms. Braley was strolling with her son and daughter-in-law when investigators say Sean Doolin drove drunk, raced across the bridge through a locked gate, taking out a toll booth, then slamming into the victim. Not a day goes by, Braley doesn't think of the love of his life. And that's what I really struggle with, because I'll come home, I'll see the kids, but no wife. Braley is anxious for the closure he thinks Doolin's trial will bring. And though no date has been set, Braley forgives. In my belief, no, you, you have to forgive. His children, though, he says, aren't there yet, if they ever will be. Still sad, angry, in need of someone to be held accountable for their mother's unexpected, violent end. And it's a good thing that I guess the state attorney is dealing with me and not my kids. Because I do have forgiveness in my heart. The vigil is set for 8 p.m. Family and friends here. The public is welcome. Many of those who live in nearby condos were here that night, expected to return to support those still grieving. In Daytona Beach Shores, Volusia County, Claire Metz, West 2 News.